Well, we all know that the back to school transition for families is a difficult one. So how do you make the adjustment smoothly? Well, the goal, less stress on you and more success for the kids. Here to help us with this is Armenta Jacobson, the director and founder of the UNT Center for Parent Education. Hopefully with some great tips. I told you I'm a little in denial about right. the fact that my kids are going back to school in two weeks. Um, and I just almost kind of don't even know where to start planning. What can right. I do to get ready for this transition? Okay, well, I guess the first thing is to get out of denial, right? Right, that would help. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was thinking on the way over here, I hope parents are beginning to think about the, the back to school transition before now, mm -hmm. because this is something that suddenly creeps up on you at, well, I think the tax-free weekend this weekend probably right. helped putting people back sure. in the mood. What are some tips that you can give us for how we start working on mm -hmm. that transition? Okay. Well, I think talking with your children or teenagers is the first step. Uh, find out what they're thinking, uh, if they're dreading school, if they're looking forward to school, and um, just get a sense of how they're feeling. So what if your kid does tell you, you know what, mom, I'm really nervous about mm -hmm. starting high school. What if mm -hmm. I'm not gonna make any friends? What sort of advice can you give to those parents if confronted with something like that? Right. Well, I think the tone of the parents should have is hopeful optimism. Mm -hmm. And I think encouraging kids is one thing, but I think being a good role model for helping those kids make that adjustment is also very important, which is where planning with your children and getting organized and thinking about things ahead of time, being very intentional, uh, problem solving with them, making decisions ahead of time. Those are really good things to teach your children. And when parents do all the work, their children mm -hmm. don't learn that. Sure. And right. I, you know, my kiddos are still a little young, six and nine, mm -hmm. but we have tried to include them in the process. Right. I think picking out new shoes, sure. maybe your new backpack can really right. help them with that right. process, correct? Absolutely. And have them think about the things they like about school. Mm -hmm. Think about the friends they're looking forward to. Um, encourage them to think about the positive aspects of it. Instead yeah. of dreading my six-year-old still thinks she's going to have the same teacher. Right. We're trying to explain to her <laughs> that that's not going to happen. Right. Um, but one of the things we can do is really help out with some sort of plan. You right. know, sleep schedules, stuff of right. that nature. What Absolutely. can you tell me about that? Well, I think again, you want to do that with your children so they have a buy-in, so they feel committed, more committed to it. So you can talk about how much time it takes them to get ready for school and. Um, like laying their clothes out the night before and choosing breakfast the night before and some of those things and uh, get them involved in that process of how much time it's going to take. Mm -hmm. And with your age, the ch age of your children, you will have to be absolutely the leader in that mm -hmm. and set some boundaries and perspectives for that. Uh, but get them involved in that decision-making well, process. And we've talked a little bit about the show we do here on KTXD, mm -hmm. Take Charge Parenting, just right. how much sleep these kiddos actually need. So to be organized is the way to make sure they're maximizing their sleep, right. right? Yes, they need a lot of sleep all the way through the college years, actually. And uh, their professors seem to need a lot of sleep, too, or that's my experience. <laughs> sure, I, I bet. And, you know, we, we talked a little bit during the break um, just how important being organized is. Right. And there are some things out there these days that make it a right. little easier. A lot of things on the Internet we talked a little bit right. earlier um, that make, maybe digital checklists or organizational sure. tools. Yes, and uh, and if, you, if your child is starting is a new high school student or a new middle school student where there's campus, going and plotting the route and walking through the campus and um, giving them a sense of what it's going to be like, pulling up a map, those kinds of things. But one of the things I suggest, in addition to electronic calendars and those kinds of things which remind you, is to get a big calendar, uh, put it in the hall or somewhere where everyone goes, mm -hmm. and have put all the school dates on it and all the family, important family dates, um, and have the children and teenagers help keep that updated every week, mm -hmm. like with sports events, 
Girl it's a good Scouts. way to keep everybody on the same page sure. to know what's coming up and, and, and kind of keeps everyone from surprises. And I know sure. spouses, mom and dad right. can help with that communication right. as well, right? And right. benefit from it. So having a family meeting every week. I like that. Talk about dates. And Here's what we've got going on. Right. Who's in charge mm -hmm. of dinner. Right. <laughs> Stuff of that nature. Plan menus. Those kinds of things. And plan ahead, I think, is the way to go. Plan ahead. It's not the last Absolutely. minute. Absolutely. Plan well, ahead. great, great tips. Um, hey, do you have any suggestions for us there at home on how you can make the back-to-school transition a little easier on your family? Well, go to mm -hmm. our Facebook page and comment right now. We can't wait to hear how you right. are getting ready to send your kids back to school. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much, You're Arminta. Thank you. All right, we'll take a look at how couples can keep their marriages intact when the kids fly the coop. It's tips on maintaining that BFF status when you look across the dinner table and realize you're back to just us as a couple and the kids are gone. Come on back. Mm -hmm.